now contending for the faith. In this regular feature, Dave and Tom respond to questions from listeners and readers of the Berean Call. Here's this week's question. Dear Dave and T.A., what part does repentance play in salvation? We have uh, talked about that. We've written about it and so on, and I think it's an important part. But first of all, Dave, let's go over what repentance means. So our you know, so some of our people understand, uh, growing up Roman Catholic, as I did, uh, repentance wasn't part of our vocabulary. It was penance. So we needed to do penance after a sin. But that's, uh, that, I don't think that has, not well, I know that doesn't have anything to do with biblical repentance. Well, Tom, let me uh, bring it a little closer to evangelicals. Um, repentance, you can confess your sin, you know, it says, if we confess our sins, First John chapter 1, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But confessing what I did is not really confessing my sin. The real sin was, and what caused me to do what I did that was wrong, is that I shoved Christ off the throne of my life. I was living for myself. So you can confess, oh God, I'm sorry that I got angry with my wife or whatever, but you haven't even confessed the real sin, okay? Now, repentance is, goes even beyond that. I will be sorry for my sin. And Paul, for example, in Acts 20, uh, it says he, he preached repentance toward God and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a, uh, a change of attitude, change of mind. Lord, I'm I, I acknowledge that was wrong, and I'm sorry uh, for that. Uh, now, I think that that is kind of, it's an understood part of salvation because there are many people who get saved. I can remember when I got saved, uh, really a transforming uh, uh, incident in my life. I was totally transformed. I knew the Bible very well. And <clears throat> I don't recall that I repented and said, oh God, I'm sorry for my sin. Um, maybe I should have. But in my heart, I was sorry for my sin. That's why I wanted to be saved. I recognized that, that uh, the wages of sin is death. I recognized that I was a sinner separated from God. And the only remedy I had was through Jesus Christ. And, and uh, so although I didn't use the words, I repent of my sin, uh, there certainly was repentance there. I think the thing that uh, uh, makes me think about this, I think it's really, it's a simple question. What part of salvation does repentance play? We have seen probably too much of the idea that you come to Christ because he wanted what he has to offer you. Uh, the you know, I've seen it over and over again. Christ has got a plan for your life. He's got all of this. He's got all of that. It's like, you know, it's like you're shopping around looking for certain things. Oh, I think I'll have Christ because of, of what he's offering. And the thing that we seem to be missing today, at least from my perspective, the places that I've been, is that uh, conviction of sin is not there. So I guess when I think of repentance, I think wait a minute, I'm really a sinner. I'm separated from God. Well, then that, as you mentioned, the turning from my own life to his life, it's on the basis of understanding that I'm a sinner and I need salvation. So I guess that's the repentance I'd like to see today. Well, Tom, there's very little fear of God, uh, no sense of the awesomeness of God, his holiness, and, and uh, that's a plague in the church. And it is Sort of, you want to be happy, you want to be successful, you want to get healed, you know, what Christ will do for, for you, and then that's the reason you come to him. And I remember um, uh, we used to have special meetings in our home for Jewish people. Mm -hmm. I remember the uh, uh, young Jewish, well, actually the young man and his cousin, who was a, a girl, uh, they tried to win her father to Christ. Well, you need Christ. What do I need him for? Well, he'll make you happy. Well, I'm already happy. 
well, he'll make you healthy. He'll heal you. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty healthy. Uh, well, he'll make you successful. Uh, you know, your life will go better. Well, I own a whole mountaintop here in the right in the downtown area of uh, San Fernando Valley, and and I, I'm very wealthy. And I mean, there was no idea that this man needed to be convicted of his sin and recognize that he is separated from God for eternity, and he will be forever in remorse and torment because of his sins, unless he. Uh, repents, he, whether he puts it in those terms or not, unless he repents and he confesses that he's a sinner. You can't get s- saved unless you realize you're lost. Uh, and what do we get saved from? The penalty of sin that is imposed upon us. And if we don't recognize that, it's like Paul said, the law is our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. David reminds me, I was with a friend and we were talking about this issue of repentance and and my friend, he is such an evangelist. I mean, that's on his heart all the time. I mean, he's always giving out tracts to people and so on. But he, he, on a sad note, he said, you know, he was in Jerusalem. You talk about the Jews and they had this evangelistic group and they were in downtown Jerusalem and they had Big Bird, you know, the Big Bird from, they had a guy dressed up like Big Bird passing out tracts, and the Jewish people were appalled at this. Yeah. So, I mean, talk about repentance. I mean, how can you ever bring somebody, you know, when you're in a clown uniform, bringing somebody to a conviction of sin in their life, going about it that way? But we see it all the time. Well, Tom, when I, the, the Philippian jailer cried out, sirs, what must I do to be saved? He apparently had learned that he was lost. Right. And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. They didn't have to say repent and believe, although sometimes they did say that. But this man was already repentant. He, he was desperate. Uh, and uh, he knew that he was under the judgment of God for his sin. He knew he was a sinner. So however we come to that conclusion, this is essential. Otherwise, why do I turn to Christ? For more information about the Berean Call, call us toll-free at our order number or visit our website, 